Hello, everyone, and welcome to episode three of Sports of SHSU All Access. And we're here today with a very special guest. We've got Sam Houston quarterback Jordan Yage. Jordan, how are you doing today? I'm doing good. How about you? Man, good, good. Good to have you on. Good to be speaking to you. Um, let's just dive right into it, man. Welcome to welcome to Huntsville. Welcome to Sam Houston. What's it been like since you got here the past couple of weeks? I know I've seen you playing some golf. What's it been like workouts? Uh, so what's it been like since you got to Huntsville? Uh, it's been cool. Um, I like it out here. Um, obviously, you know, Huntsville is a, a big change from Atlanta. A little more quiet out here, but I, it's honestly something I kind of enjoy. Um, but it's been real, a real cool first couple of weeks, you know, getting to know the guys and everything. And yeah, like I've been going over to the driving range. So if you see me uh, shanking some balls, that's, that's me out there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll, uh, we'll watch out for that. So uh, that's good to hear. Glad to have you. And um, so let's just talk about kind of where you've come from. We're from Georgia, not from Texas. Um, so talk a little bit about your high school career in Georgia, what brought you to Georgia Tech um, and just your career up until this point. Uh, so high school career, I went to Milton High School, which is uh, about 30 minutes outside of Atlanta. Um, really good athletic or really good school in general, uh, athletic and academics, big school. We're in 7A, which is as high as it goes in Georgia. Um, we won this, our first ever state championship my senior year uh, for football. So that was really cool. It was a real, real cool experience. Um, but yeah, since then, they've just really like kind of skyrocketed like football and basketball. They're top team in the state every single year. So it's really cool to see that. Um, so then I committed to Georgia Tech uh, the summer going into my senior year. I think I committed in June. So all, all senior year, I was didn't have to worry about recruiting. So that was nice. Able to just focus on focus on the season. Um, and I just recently graduated from Georgia Tech. Uh, got my degree in uh, business administration. And uh, yeah, had a good three years there. Loved it there. I got all love for tech and city of Atlanta. So but just ready for this new journey. Yeah, absolutely. And speaking of the new journey, so played a couple of years at Georgia Tech, Georgia kids. So how did you end up in Huntsville, you entered the tra transfer portal? So how'd that kind of come to be going from Georgia Tech and coming to Sam Houston? How'd you land at Sam Houston? Um, so really I had to, I had to finish out this last semester at Tech. So I knew my process was going to kind of take a little bit longer than some people who could enroll in January. So I kind of was just, I was just pretty patient with all my options. I didn't really uh, visit anywhere else. I just kind of, once I found, I really liked Sam Houston or I liked how it sounded I when I took a visit and just kind of confirmed everything I thought. But I mean, it was just, just took my time in the process really. And, um, uh, just kind of waited for kind of all the opportunities to arise. And I felt like this was the best one for me. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And so were you looking for Sam Houston? Obviously, it's kind of like halfway across the country. Did they reach out to you? Kind of how did that connection get started? Uh, they reached out to me. Coach OG, D-line coach, he reached out to me one day. And that's just kind of got the ball, ball rolling. Yeah, good stuff, man. Well, we're, we're glad you're here. And now that you are here, what can fans kind of expect from you in your game, what kind of player are you? Uh, what do you bring to the table as a quarterback? And what can we expect to see from you in a Bearcat uniform? Um, it's an interesting question. I never really talked about how I play before. But, um, I mean, I like to I'm, – I'm a real big studier. Um, I'm in the film room a lot, so I like to know exactly what the defense is doing. So I like to be just smart with where I go, where I go with the ball and just making quick decisions like that. Um, I think I'm good at extending plays and using my legs to make things happen and get us out of bad situations. Um, and I play, I play really hard. You know, I, I put my body on the line. I give, I give my all for my teammates, you know, every game. So hopefully y'all can see a little bit of that. Yeah. Yeah. We're excited to see it. Um, talking about the off season, just starting up summer workouts, getting into training camp here soon. What's something that you've been working on this off season to get better for this next year? Um, maybe a hole in your game that you might've had in the past. Um, I think, I think every year I can just get more comfortable just staying in the pocket. Um, that's something that kind of really only comes with uh, live game reps, which I was fortunate enough to get a, a good bit of those last year. So I feel like I improved a lot in that aspect, but um I mean, yeah, just definitely th throwing from the pocket and just being, I mean, just being more consistent as a whole. Um, I wouldn't say there's a super big hole that I was trying to fill, but, um, you know, just kind of just improving all areas in, the, in my game. Yeah. Yeah. And so going into this next year, do you have any certain like maybe statistical goals, maybe personal goals that you have 
coming into this year, something you're trying to develop in or strive towards for this next season? Uh, statistical goals, I feel like that's just a lot of that's just kind of out of your control. So it's kind of not no real point in even putting those goals up there. My goal is just to win every game, go undefeated. Uh, it's just, that's my goal every year, wherever I'm at, whether it's high school, middle school, at Georgia Tech, is go undefeated. So yeah. nothing changed here. Yep. And we love to see that, that's for sure. Yeah. Um, so next up, kind of want to talk about some stuff off the field, um, some NIL deals. I know I saw a podcast with you a couple of weeks ago talking about your deal with the Braves and then you got a, a clothing line. So just talk to us kind of about how that deal with the Braves came to be, what kind of that entails, and then also your your 1% clothing line and what that is. Yeah, uh, so the deal with the Braves uh, was just kind of – they had posted something, like kind of right when like the whole NIL thing, like the law passed, like last July. Um, and like they posted something that was like, tag who you want to see as like a college athlete influencer or something like that. And a couple people tagged me and I didn't really think anything of it. And then a couple weeks later I got a DM or like in my message request, I saw the Atlanta Braves and I was like, what, what's that? Uh, and I saw that they followed me too. And I was like, Oh, what's this all about? So um, I mean, just got connected with them and it was basically just like a brand ambassador type deal, like promoting going to the games and like the experience at the battery at Truist Park, which is where they play. Um, and like how that appeals to college students. It was just a deal for this past season. Uh, it was like a one year thing. And I, I don't think I could, I'd be able to do it anyways being in Texas now, but now it was, it was a really cool, really cool experience. Like getting to work with them and having, having that connection. And then as far as the clothing line thing, um, that's just something I kind of thought of, I want to say over quarantine, Maybe, maybe a little bit after that. But I mean, I just knew, I knew that the NIL thing was coming uh, in July. So I think just earlier that year, I was just like, all right, how can I kind of get ahead of this? And maybe uh, like how I can capitalize the most off of this. So just kind of had a plan of releasing that as soon as the NIL thing launched. And um, yeah. Yeah, that's cool. That's really cool. Maybe we can hook you up with the Astros out here. We can get the same thing going. That'd be cool. Uh, keep it going. I know the Braves beat the Astros in the World Series, but uh, yeah, no comment. <laughs> uh, yeah, Astros fan myself, so it's a personal. Yeah. Um, uh, <laughs> next up, kind of off the field stuff. Um, if I'm not mistaken, your uncle, speaking of Houston, is is TJ Yates, who used to play quarterback for the Texans. So, what is your relationship like with him? Have you learned a lot from him? Uh, just kind of what that relationship is like with TJ. Uh, yeah, me and him are really close. I mean, we probably talk every other day or so um he's helped me a ton uh really starting my scene I mean he's always helped me kind of my whole life playing quarterback but we really started working a lot more together uh I want to say my junior year and then my senior year because I don't think he was on the team that year he was in between playing and coaching so he kind of was just in Atlanta um so I mean he taught me how to watch film like how to break things down um but, I mean, he's, he's just taught me a bunch of stuff. Um, so, yeah, I'm su super thankful for him. I mean, we have a really good relationship. Yeah, that's cool. And maybe we'll see him out there at some games this year. That'd be really cool to see. Yeah, hopefully. Um, if they get a bye yeah. week, it matches up. Yeah, I know there's a lot of uh, I know there's a lot of Texans fans in the Huntsville area, so that'd be really oh, cool. Oh, yeah. Got one more for you, and we'll get you out here on this. We've been seeing you golf a lot. Is there anything off the field that uh, you might want the people to know, maybe something interesting that maybe not a lot of people know about you? Um, besides football off the field? Uh, well, I just started getting into golf uh, kind of recently. Like, I really just kind of got some clubs because I knew I'd be so close to the driving range, like five minutes from where I live. So I'm like, all right, I might as well pick it up. I got some free time. I'm not taking any classes this summer. So I just kind of started picking that up recently. So I'm trying to get trying to get my swing down. Played a, played a rough nine holes the other, the other <laughs> day, but, you know, just had to, had to get the first one out of me. Um, Let's see something else I like to do. I like to uh, I like to play chess a little bit. Uh, I picked that up a couple, probably like going into college. Uh, me and a bunch of my friends who also play quarterback. Uh, our quarterback trainer kind of got us uh, linked up with this guy named Seth, who really just like teaches uh, chess, like kind of like in comparison with like playing quarterback and like the decisions you make. So uh, we're all kind of big into chess, and you know I kind of enjoy I enjoy playing it a ton actually. That's cool. I, I know it, whenever you make a smart decision out there, I know to tweet out uh, Jordan Yates, checkers, not chess, or <laughs> chess not checkers, uh, out there making smart moves. So that's there cool. You go. 
Um, so Jordan, I appreciate you coming on. How can the people find you on Instagram, Twitter, your merch line? How can they find, how can they find where you are on social media? Uh, so my Instagram handle is at J H just J Y A T E S. Um, Twitter, I think is J O R J O R underscore Yates. Um, and then my clothing line, that Instagram is 1%.00. Awesome. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, well, we appreciate you so much coming out today. We're excited to see you out there this year. Um, And everyone, thank you so much for tuning in to episode three, and we'll see you guys in episode four.